Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over how you can get all 19 different Vivian patterns in your copy of Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So on the back of Pokemon Day, the Pokemon Presents, we got the announcement that there is now compatibility between Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Pokemon Go. So now with that, there is a new feature where you're going to be able to access all of the different Vivian patterns in your copy of Scarlet and Violet and catch them. But there is a few things that you're going to need to do and we're going to go over everything so you can do it in your games to get every additional pattern except one in today's video. So like we just mentioned, the announcement got dropped on Pokemon Day in that Pokemon Presents, which will now allow us to get the different patterns of Vivian in our games. Now you can see there are a total of 20 different patterns available to get. There are only going to be 19 available. The Pokeball pattern is still not available, but the rest of them are all 19 are will be available in your games. And yes, you're going to be able to catch them in their shiny forms as well. And as it goes on to detail, it will all be based around you sending postcards to your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then by doing that, you're going to access different Vivian patterns that will appear in your game. By also doing this, you're going to get yourself the coin bag in Pokemon Go. And it does mean that you're going to be able to look and hunt for the roaming form of Gimme Ghoul, which hopefully when we do get full compatibility between Pokemon Home and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be able to eventually transfer the roaming form into these games. So to do this, what you're going to need to do is have your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet open and you're also going to need to have Pokemon Go open on your phones. So first of all, you are going to want to hit your settings and then you're going to want to come down to connected devices and services. And then you're going to want to go into your Nintendo Switch and then connect to Nintendo Switch. And on your Nintendo Switch, you are going to have to be on the newest update so you can check this by going to your home menu pressing the plus icon and just checking your version there is 1.2.0 you're going to have to be on this version update to do the compatibility between the two once you've done that you want to come into your poker portal and then come down to mystery gifts and then you will see an option that it has appeared here with that new update to say connect to pokemon go and you will just have to go through these screens here which will advise you about the vivian patterns that you will get by connecting with pokemon go so pair with pokemon go account that's what we want to do and then connect with nintendo switch and there we go we see your account has been found osiris vgc would you like to pair with this yes we would pair with our pokemon go account and then connect to pokemon go and then once you've done that you come back in to your pokemon go account and then you want to come to your menu and then into your items and then you want to come down to your post card book and you'll be able to go through all of your different postcards of where you've been recently so let's have a look where we've got yeah, let's send the daytona one let's send the daytona one this was from rose so we can send this one send to nintendo switch we'll just send it across are you sure you want to send it okay yes we do and then when we connect to pokemon go you'll get this message coming up postcard sent on your phone you'll see that you'll get the coin bag available and the postcard will be sent through on your Nintendo Switch account, which is then appearing as a mystery gift, which is quite cool. Uh, you'll see the Vivian with an unusual pattern have begun to appear. You've got the follow on items, Gimme Go Coins 50 and then five portions which is pretty cool and then on your pokemon go app you're going to have the coin bag now which will then access you to be able to get roaming gimme ghoul in your game but you are only going to be able to send one postcard per day but each postcard that you send will get you a new vivian form hopefully so by sending different postcards to your game you should unlock different vivian forms in your game and this will then give you the chance to get all of the different forms eventually in your games excluding the pokeball forms so you can just come down to this area on your map this is where vivian kind of spawns quite prominently in the north province area three and if you want to make it easier you can obviously drop a sandwich which is going to increase bug types appearing in this area so there we go we've got the archipelago pattern here and normally in your games you're only going to get the fancy pattern so this is the new pattern that we've got in from that postcard today we'll not be able to send another postcard until tomorrow um but once we do that hopefully by sending it from a different area we'll be able to get a different vivian pattern as well but this is one to tick off and 
obviously we can shiny hunt for this one as well today and you can also go on to online with friends and if you do and you go into their game these patterns will appear in their game for them to catch as well which is quite nice especially if you've got a bunch of friends that all have different patterns one day you can all hook up together and then go in and catch each other's respective Vivian pattern and there we go you can see that we've got the archipelago pattern here which is pretty nice I like this pattern and if you want to go for shiny hunting these like I said they're not shiny locked so you'll be able to shiny hunt these if you want if you are planning on doing it in this area it's always advisable with any shiny hunt when you're going to be setting up a picnic just to save your game before you do set your picnic up so you don't want to waste any of those herba mystica you only get 30 minutes so if you don't get it in those 30 minutes then you can just reset your game use the same sandwich recipe once again so to make a bug type sandwich you can use the recipe here we won't link down in the description below but you want one cucumber one pickle and then you want three cherry tomatoes and then you can mix up your herba mystica we can use salty and a spicy here so we'll go for that and we'll put a pick in it and there we go you can see this sandwich will provide you that sparkling power level three and the encounter power level three for bug which is great for vivian because it is part bug a part flying and then you can just roam around this area and you should get a bunch of them appearing down in this area where you'll be able to encounter and hopefully get the shiny quite easily and of course by doing this you're going to get the vesper queen and combis popping up as well but you're going to have decent odds or increased odds of getting the shiny of the vivian and it's a nice thing to do i guess every day if you are transferring a new vivian into your games you've got access to one in your games where you're going to be able to just get the regular form and the shiny form while they are available in your game not having to worry about getting these forms by transferring them in from previous generations and having all the headaches from being able to do that. And the shiny is quite easy to identify. Its body is white rather than the black. You can see its head's kind of got that black cap on it. Uh, but the shiny has the white cap so that's and majority of its body is white. So it's easier to spot the shiny form but you have to kind of get around the front of them because a lot of them do face the other way. So you kind of, a lot of the time, you're gonna to have to make them turn around to see if they're the shiny form or not. And there we go, we got the shiny, here it is. So that is the shiny there. You can see its whole head is white and we'll be able to get this one. So that's both of them. And it hasn't taken too long for the shiny to pop up and appear. For these Vivians, I think I'm just gonna try and catch all of them, every single one that we can get access to in Premier Ball. So it's all nice and consistent size but that's just me but yeah there we go there is the shiny and its regular form so we've got the forms here if i do know that people want this one and i can share it for the day while it's in my game then it's an option to do as well and then hopefully get some of the different forms for myself when I do hop online with friends. So, so there is the two archipelago versions of Vivian and I've only got another 17 to go. Should keep us entertained at least until Pokemon Home compatibility comes out or other things, because we've got a little while for DLCs and other things like that. Nice to have these things in game accessible, especially with the compatibility with Pokemon Go for this exclusive postcard kind of event that's going on at the minute indefinitely while you can just send different postcards that you've got to get access to these in your games. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you found it useful, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more Scarlet and Violet content. And let me know what your favorite Vivian pattern is down in the comments section below. I think mine, if I was to pick one, is the Icy Snow pattern. So I hope I can get that in my game soon. That is one of my favorites. So I look forward to hearing what yours is in the comments section. But thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.